Hey guys, it's Raven Scry. Today I want to touch in and connect into the crypto space. Now I know it's been a while, uh, but I'm feeling like spirits showing me and sharing with me spaces along the timeline to be aware of coming up. Um, now I'm also wanting to share a few of my own thoughts of what's come in via my own connections through synchronicity uh, as well. So I'm going to connect and just see what whatever spirit uh, has to offer in regards to the crypto space and what's coming up and anything they wish to share as important uh, for you guys listening. So before I start, uh, this is not financial advice. Uh, please, you know, do your own research, follow your own heart, um, you know, because I can be wrong, I can be right, I've had hits, I've had misses. Uh, so I'm just giving this from my heart, from spirit, uh, this connection. So just if something resonates, um, you know, by all means follow that flow, but really follow your own guidance before making your decisions. Okay, so firstly I want to speak to uh, a timeline that spirit is bringing my attention to and as I connect with that timeline uh, it's almost shown as a chart uh, in the way that it's coming through um, and they're showing me a period of time coming up and it appears to be like um, they're showing me a shape. It's like at the bottom of a chart. So as we have, have an undulating chart going up and going down uh, and we're kind of moving towards a bottom section. Now they're showing me that, you know, it's kind of a start of like some sort of a trough. Now I feel like this this trough space lasts a few months in the way that I'm being shown this. Um, and... To me, it reminds me of some sort of a bottom um, or the end of a, circle, a certain cycle or a certain uh, phase that we're in. Now, of course, there's phases within phases um, and that's kind of a general thing to say, but they're just showing me like this pocket of time um, and this po pointing to this point in the cycle. Now, when they show me this, um, it's it's like it it starts uh, you know kind of soonish uh, and we've got it going down deeper uh, and moving through a few months. Now what they're giving me uh, quite clearly is August to October, and that being quite significant. Now I feel like this um, is in particular um, them sharing about preparing positions in the market if that's what you're choosing to do. Uh, of course, not financial advice again, uh, but this is just the, the time to be making preparations, a time of a lower end of a phase. Now, of course, as I've said, you know, there's always undulating ups and downs uh, as we move, but there's just this pocket that they keep pointing out. Um, and bringing the month of October um, to my attention has been quite significant um, and it would be advisable to be in by this time um, for movement into 2024, 2025. So this is what I'm going to be doing, uh, my own personal um, feelings uh, and I'm planning to be in by October uh, with whatever altcoins or whatever uh, things I'm going to be invest in. so investing in. So I may be going to do some DCAing over the next few months, um, but particularly between August and October is, is what my aim and my goal is. Now, when I say October, it doesn't mean, you know, everything's going to shoot up straight away, but it's this this flow that's taking place and it's like this gradual movement that spirit's advising being in by the point of October. So as I'm sure many of you know, timing is very difficult um, to predict. 
uh, and, you know, timelines can change, things can shift uh, quite easily when, we, when we're speaking to markets and the collective. Um, but normally I wouldn't necessarily speak directly to time, but this is a time that they're giving me quite strongly, so I thought to give it uh, to you guys. Now, I just want to share a thought with you guys. Uh, last year when I was away, I was asking Spirit uh, and really connecting with the land and, you know, the, the earth and its resonance. Um, but I was asking Spirit to connect and give me some guidance within crypto in connection, in particular connection to the flow um, and the resonance of my surrounds and of earth. Now, what they showed me was, in particular, was magpies. Uh, and it felt very significant within magpies and their season of uh, having their babies. Um, and, you know, this made me connect to September uh, because you know, I'm not sure of the exact times uh, that, you know, all their, you know, they're, they're very active um, they're having babies, they're protecting their young, um, but it's around the September mark. Now, looking back, uh, when I moved into uh, the place that I'm living at the moment, when I moved into here, uh, I was getting magpies appearing at the door, knocking on the on the window and the glass door uh, that's here. And there's a few, few, few glass doors. They would just go around, tap, 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 tap. And, you know, I thought, well, okay, it's probably someone's been feeding them. Uh, but, you know, whether they have been fed or not, the point is they were coming to my door. Uh, and I felt like this was a direct line from spirit going, don't forget, you know, we're here, a reminder. Um, and, you know, I still kind of waited and held off, held back within that space but looking back to where we were around those times in the market, it was a very good time to be buying uh, around those those later periods of last year. So uh, I feel like you know their their presence was sent as a sign, and uh, it's interesting because occasionally they tap. You know, I haven't really seen much of them lately, <clears throat> but occasionally they'll just come to the window, tap, 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 and it always takes me through to, oh, okay, it's a reminder, you know, and and so they've been, they've been around, they've been gently tapping, and I'm aware that I feel as though, you know, this was last year, but I also feel like there's resonance with this year as well around these, these later months um, coming up. Now, one of them appeared at the door the other day with a really big piece of chicken that it had, and it was knocking on my door and dropped the chicken in front of my door, and I was like, don't leave your chicken here. Like, I don't want this old manky chicken, but it was it was like, it felt like a gift, but then it picked it up and, and you know, took off. So it was kind of interesting. It's interesting watching nature, uh, you know, come in to to life, and, and the way that things speak speak to me in particular in this case. Uh, so I'm, I've got my eye on these magpies and I feel as though uh, they align with um, what's being spoken about, uh, this pocket of time coming up. And so that's why I'm going to choose to move in um, and you know prepare positions for where we're moving. Now, another thing that Spirit brought to my attention in regards to timeline, um, you know, this, this pocket that's coming up, but then moving toward next year and into next year, um, there was a significant um, draw point into April uh, that they just kind of kept taking me to as well. So I just felt to share that uh, with you guys. Okay, well, with all that said, uh, I was going to make a connection with Spirit to get more information in regards to the crypto space. But I feel like because this video has gone a little bit longer, 
um, than anticipated. I'm going to leave that till the next uh, crypto video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today. Really follow your own heart and intuition. Also, I have just opened readings uh, for July. Uh, I'm going to be accepting 10 readings in July. So if you'd like one of them, uh, please go to the About page of the channel and just read briefly what I'm offering there. Take care until next time. Raven Scry signing off.